so while today may be very exciting since I'm going to be leaving Florida and, and tomorrow is going to be a new p chapter in my life and it's going to be very awesome, there is an elephant in the room we have to acknowledge um, that is very, very unfortunate. So, how many of you... How many of you guys are familiar with Michael Brooks? I assume most of you are. Um, now, I'm going to preface this by saying I never watched Michael Brooks. I was not very aware of him, but I know a lot of people that were. Um, for example, uh, Conyer was pretty upset about Michael Brooks' death, and I just found out about it. I know nothing. I know nothing about uh, Michael Brooks' death um, in terms of like news or, or anything like that. I literally found out about it right before I went live. So I had no time to prepare for this, no time to like find out what happened, why he died, like anything. I, I don't know anything about this, okay? So, in light of that, we are going to, also here's his Twitter. Um, there, we're going to read this heavy article about it, and I'm going to learn about what happened along with you guys. And I know a lot of you, peop a lot of you in chat probably did like Michael Brooks. I mean, I, I, liked, I liked him. I, I wasn't very aware of him. We're probably fans of Michael Brooks, and this is probably like a really hard time for a lot of you. So we're going to read this article, we're going to go over it, and um, you know, sort of reflect on, on how tremendous a loss this is for uh, a lot of people. Michael Brooks is dead. Popular host of The Michael Brooks Show dies suddenly. So, shit. Do we not even know how he died? Um, Michael Brooks, the popular host of The Michael Brooks Show, has died suddenly of a medical condition, his team announced. The Michael Brooks Show posted a statement on Twitter on July 20th, writing, It is with heavy, a heavy heart that we announced the unexpected passing of Michael Brooks, a son, brother, friend, and true comrade to so many, due to a sudden medical condition. No further details were provided about his cause of death. Rest in power course here's their statement obviously going to quote and, and retweet it and everything it is with a heavy heart that we announce the unexpected passing of michael brooks a son a brother and friend a true comrade to so many due to a sudden medical condition michael believed in bringing people together in the struggle for love and justice fighting for all poor and working people a struggle that he understood to be global he knew the only way he could do this was by bringing people together and made his life's work uh, bringing people from different backgrounds and countries together we hope you join us in honoring him by continuing that work michael brought his insight and commitment to building what he called a global humane project for a new order of things through many projects including the Michael, Bro Michael Brooks show, the Majority Report, and Jacobin. This year these projects have brought Michael to Brazil where he was able to interview Lula da Silva, a personal hero of his who's, who caused, whose causes and fight for freedom were dear to Michael's heart. In April, Michael well, was also able to speak to another one of his heroes, Dr. Cornell West, on politics, love, spirituality, and music, capturing his deeply human approach to building a just world. It is impossible to catch, capture the impact he had, and he will be missed sorely. His family and friends want to ensure this work continues and are preparing plans for the best way to ensure the, uh, his, this fight continues. His family will release a statement in the near future about plans to keep his work alive by creating a foundation in his honor, uh, while the form it will take is uncertain, Michael's family desires to keep his work alive and asks all who wish to contribute doing so to continue doing so in, in the usual channels. Now we will honor Michael by treating all humans with respect and dignity. Um, this is a pretty tragic loss, honestly. As somebody who really only knew of Michael Brooks as sort of like an, another large leftist figure that... Fucking salute. Fucking salute, my dude. Um... As somebody who wasn't, like, a huge fan of Michael Brooks, as someone who, like, watched his content, this is really, um... This is upsetting for a variety of reasons. Um... There is a... There is a really unfortunate phenomenon that happens when you follow a... figure. They don't have to be a leftist or a political figure, you could just be a fan of somebody, right? Um, and sort of the, the reverberations that happen when they just... when their lives are ended suddenly. Um, this is like a very, we're going to get into, into the feelings based around this, and then also we'll get into the po political impl implications of this as well. But first I want to talk about, um, large public figures passing away. Um, how many of you were a fan of Etika, or were like deeply hurt when Etika died? Because I, I was one of them. I, I was like a huge fan of Etika, and when Etika went missing, I stopped streaming for many days. 
Um, I, I, and then when I found out he was dead, like, I, I couldn't stream. I was too, like, emotionally wrecked from that. Um, uh, I wasn't, but the suicide made me really sad. Yeah. Um, and, and there is a ripple effect. Same goes for if you were a fan of Wreckful. I liked Wreckful a lot. Big WoW player. Um, uh, uh, um, anybody who watched the channel, um, fuck, what was his name? Fuck, why am I blanking on his name right now? Um... He did a lot of collaborations with Backyard Scientist. Um, fuck, I, I feel so bad that I'm blanking on his name right now. Um, uh, um, there was a there's a science channel that and the and the owner of the of the science of the guy who started the science channel died very tragically last year. Um, that was really unfortunate. Um, yeah, this is a this is something that happens where like even if you don't know if you were never fans of these people or never followed their work, you're still aware of them. You were still aware of their online. Pre I swear to God, nose itch. Not a good time. You were still aware of their online. King of Random. Thank you, King of Random. Thank you, thank you. Um, he also passed away very suddenly, and I was a fan of him, so that that sucked as well. Um, I actually with the King of Random. I actually um, I did a school project. My nose is so itchy. I did a school project in high school, making like an, an uh, a smeltery, like the the sort of like backyard smeltery thing that he that that he would make um, for some of his videos. I actually replicated that and made one for a school project. So, in a, in in a, in a case like this, especially within yeah, he he was a para he was para sailing. I no, it was um paramotor. It was paramotor, Furman. Um, I really want a paramotor anyway, though. Um. Even if you aren't a fan of these people, their their death, the ripples that that are caused by their their passing, sort of permeate every corner of the internet, right? In different ways, right? So basically, every leftist is not happy about this. This is going to, uh, um, I feel like shit about this. Like it, it was like a big dampener before the stream when I found out about this. Even if I wasn't like a like a fan of him, right? Um, so. Even if a lot of people ne didn't necessarily watch his content, uh, this is going to affect everybody. Um, Michael Brooks was a pretty big figure um, within leftism. We're going to get to the political implications of this now. Um, Michael Brooks was a fairly large figure in, um, in the leftist online space. He probably took part in radicalizing <clears throat> thousands, tens of thousands, maybe more people towards the left. Um, so it is very very tragic that a figure like this has passed um and it's not just that this is something that you guys might want to look out for the right is going to celebrate this um this is this is uh this is something that's gonna suck for a lot of you the right will celebrate michael brooks's death like everything from like your mainstream like shitty conservatives to um like the nazis and whatnot like, like neo-nazis so if you're somebody who is prone to um, emotional harm from something like that, from having a figure you looked up to or, or, um, or followed, pass away, you, um, you may, you may want to take a little bit of a break, um, a little bit of, of a break from the internet for a little while, because it's not going to be, it's not going to be an easy time for you. But if you are capable of not taking a break from the internet, Spend time with your friends, talk to their leftist people that were fans of him, comfort each other, talk to each other, all of that. Um, be there for each other, okay? Michael Brooks was, from what I can tell, a fantastic person and a great advocate for leftist ideas. And um, remember and always cherish every moment, especially... If it is somebody that is close to you, or a figure that you appreciate and admire. Because I'll admit, sometimes I have a morbid thought of like, what if one of my, what if another, like one of my friends, what if I got the news one, one day that one of my friends died? Um, like, like, a, like a, a YouTuber left his friend, like had passed away. And I, I'm just, how, how would that feel? And how much would I regret not spending more time engaging with them while they were around because it could happen at any moment the world's a very tumultuous tragic place right now 
to say the least. So, with that said, cherish everybody that you have now, because you never know when you could lose them. And take care of each other, okay? Michael Brooks, rest in power, my dude. You did a lot of good for leftism, as far as I can tell. And I hope that all of the work that you strive to do in this world continues to be perpetuated by a new generation of leftists that you took a large part in helping to radicalize to the left to become anti-capitalist and progressive. Rest in power, my dude.